I got a call after Katie and Adam's first date, hearing Katie smile in her voice as she explained the state filled with comfortable romance. And clearly she fully meant it when she said to me that night, I just went on the first date with my husband. I looked Katie right in the eyes and said, all right, Katie, cut the cute girl routine. What are your intentions with my brother? And surprisingly, she didn't miss a beat. She, she, she said, Christian, I know your brother is the man I want to marry. And then her eyes walled up like they're doing right now. And she said, when I think of being... Uh, pause. When I think of being married to Adam, it just feels like a privilege. That's what she said. She was 24 years old. And the chutzpah and the confidence with which she said this stuck with me to this day. She knew who she was. She knew what she wanted. She knew she'd found it. In that moment was just very special to me with us. Everyone that is lucky enough to know Katie knows that she gives so much love to those around her. She curates and builds these incredible relationships. I was lucky enough to have that thrill my entire life. She stands in my corner. She giggles with me endlessly. She listens and speaks honestly. She's tough and wonderfully emotional. When I met Adam, I thought just how himself he shows up. He comes with such an ease to be around. He continues to be the man that Katie always dreamed of about as a kid, and so much more than I think she even knew she wanted. He showers her with love in so many ways. He challenges her, accepts her. It's the love that I have always wanted for my sister. Katie asked about celebrating here and what I would speak to before getting into vows. She said how we met or how we um, came together or when Adam told me that he was madly in love with you. That didn't happen. It happened after he told you. He doesn't tell me these things early. I saw that diary out there. You said it to your friends right away. It's very impressive. The fact that Adam continually, continually put Katie's happiness and how she was going to feel moving to Annapolis or whatever the situation was, he was always putting a priority on Katie's happiness. And that was the part where I really started to understand that this is going to happen, something that I wanted to happen, that Adam and Katie were going to spend the rest of their life together. Well now really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling, taking this ghastly risk uh, is the condition of there being life. But this is the most powerful thing that can be done. Surrender, see, and love is an act of surrender to another person, total abandonment. I give myself to you.